is Ms. Leone, and I'm going to show you how to um, do the digital notebook. So as always, you're going to go into your Clever bookmarks. You go into bookmarks, then Clever. You're going to go to Schoology. That's the fastest way to get into the Schoology for our class. And then you're going to go to our class. So yours might be yellow, yours might be the orange one. And then I was showing students today that there are a few things on here that are different. Last week is week one, September 8th through 11th. Okay, so things are organized differently now for the current week. So this is the way it was for this last week. And I've organized it differently for this week. Okay, I was posting a separate assignment for remote um, and a separate assignment for students that are here, but now I just consolidated them. I put them together. So I'm going to close this and show you what it looks like now. Okay, so for students that were here yesterday, which was your A day, <clears throat> it's now in two different folders for the current week. So Monday, if you were here in in person, this is the folder that you're going to look at, okay? And if you're remote, this is the folder that you're going to look at. So it's going to look like this. All right, so this work here, if you're in person, on Monday, if you're in person, you're going to go here. And then on Tuesday, if you're in person, you're going to go here. And this is the remote work for Monday and Tuesday, okay? So if you are remote because you're group B on Monday, you're going to go here. And then if you're group A on Tuesday, you're going to go here, okay? So this is the remote work for Monday and Tuesday. And this here is the work that we're worked on in class. So let me show you how to do the digital notebook since you weren't here. So we're going to click on the digital notebook. And it should look like this. You're going to go down here and click on the digital notebook. Okay, so this is what it should look like for you. This is our digital notebook for ELA. Okay, that's how you get to it. So let me show you my teacher example of how you're going to do this. So mine looks like this. Actually, I'll open this one back up. If if this is too far away, then you can zoom in um, because you're going to label the you're going to label the dividers. You're going to label your notebook and do other things on here. Okay. So to change the view because this is really far away because I'm going to be typing in here and typing my name and this is what you're going to do. But that's really small for me to see. So instead, I'm going to change my view, and I'm going to zoom it in. Right now, it's at 39%, which is really small, so I'm going to change it to 100. There. Now it's a lot easier for me to see. So you're going to click on this text box, and you're going to type in your name. You're going to type in the class and a few other things. So let me show you what that's going to look like. Okay, so you are going to uh -oh. hmm, it's not working. All right, so you're going to type in your name, first and last name. And then you're going to click down here and you're going to type in ELA. Um, I wonder if this is the wrong there. I had an extra text box in there. So here you're going to type in ELA 8. You can make this bigger or smaller if you want. So to highlight this, I can do control A or you can you can um use your mouse to do that. And then you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. So I'm going to make it size 18. I'm going to do the same thing here, control A I'm going to make it 18, so I'm going to make it bigger, okay? 
All right, so now you are going to, you can see on here that there's a bunch of tabs on the side. We're going to label all of those dividers. So if I hit the present button, <clears throat> looks like this. And if you use your arrow key or your space bar, <coughs> sorry, it will show you the different pages in your notebook. Okay, so if we go back to the beginning, here's a divider. Here's a page inside that section and another page inside of it and another divider. So we're going to go back over here. So if you click on these when you're in present mode, it will take you to that section. Boom, there I am. And if I want to go back, click there. If I want to go to this section, like that, and I go back. <clears throat> but you can only do that in present mode. So I'm going to escape to get out of present. And I'm going to go to this one here. So I'm going to label this. This next section is going to be called daily writing. You're going to do the same thing over here. Type in daily writing. Notice how it does it sideways for you. I can go back over here, hit control A. I can come back over here, hit control A, and I can change the font. Maybe you're not crazy about this font. So I'm going to change it to Arial, which I like. So I'm going to take off the bold. Again, you can make it bigger or smaller. You can change it to a line from the left. Right now it's a line to the left. I'm going to center it. Okay, so that first one, the yellow one, is called Daily Writing. That's done. Now we're going to scroll down. We're going to skip the pages here for now. We're going to go to the purple one. I'm going to click on the text box. This one is called Mini Lessons. I'm going to Control A. I'm going to center it. I'm going to change it to size 48 because that's bigger. And I'm going to label the sides. Okay, purple one, the second divider is done. Scrolling down, I'm going to go to the red one. Uh-oh, this one doesn't have a text box. So I'm going to go to, you're going to insert it yourself. Go to insert, text box. You're going to click here and drag it to the other corner. There's my text box. Easy peasy. So then you're going to type thought log for this one. I'm going to make this size 48. I'm going to center it, and I'm going to go here and type thought log. Done with that one. Our next section is the green one. This one is word nerd. Make it bigger. Center it. Word nerd. And then I'm going to go to the blue. Oops, I don't have a text box. So I'm going to insert a text box, drag from one corner to the other. And this last one is called SOW. And in parentheses, I'm going to write sentence of the week. And I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to center it. I'm going to make it size 48. Oh, no, it's too big. So I'm just going to decrease until I get it to be a size I like. That's fine. Over here, I'm going to type SOW, sentence of the week. Done. And then we have one last one here. We're going to leave that one blank in case we need it for something else. So that is your daily notebook. Okay. Now, I had students also personalize their notebook. They um, inserted pictures of things that they liked or things that they wanted to put on their notebook. So I'm going to insert an image on this slide. So you got to make sure you're on this cover one. Insert image. I can upload from my computer, search the web. I'm going to search the web. I really like Serena Williams. She's a tennis player. Here's a picture of her. I'm going to make this smaller by grabbing the corner and dragging it smaller. And then I can use, I can, I can 
hold on to it like this and move it with my arrow keys up and down, or I can just go here to the border and then kind of move it around like that. Okay, I can even change the angle of it. Boom. Now I'm going to insert an image, search the web. I have dogs, so I'm going to search for pugs. And I can do insert two pictures at once. I'm going to insert this one right here. And I want a black pug also. Ooh, actually, here is a black pug and a fawn pug. That's what I have at home. I'm going to insert. <clears throat> and then I'm going to change the size a little bit. Those look like my dogs, okay? So you get the idea. You can decorate this with anything that you want that's school appropriate. You can even put pictures of your friends. I'm going to upload a picture of myself. And there it is. I don't think I really like that picture that big, so I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, so you get the idea. And that's all you have to do for this assignment for now. And I will show you later on this week how you're going to type in here. Thank you. And you can always message me if you have questions on how we are doing this.